Hey guys, so I thought I'm going to talk a little bit about Wave 6 uh, of Thundercats Ultimates that's now up for pre-order on the Super 7 website and other online retailers. So when we first heard about Wave 6 uh, in May, uh, I think somewhere in the start of May, uh, a lot of people threw a lot of toys and uh, yes, I know some people completely hate this line. Uh, well they consider it a separate line and then a lot of people also love this line and the irony is that way back when Mattel first brought out that uh, very orange first sample at uh, I think it was San Diego Comic Con uh, then a lot of people said well this needs to be more orange this needs to look like the toy and then later on when the final version came out and then reissued by Super 7 then a lot of people said well why can't we get toy versions of this as well and they referenced a lot to that original uh, first sample that we saw and i thought well that's a good idea i didn't know what it would look like or what it could look like um i know i mean a lot of you have had the toys as a kid and um, some of you some of you still do and i thought well hmm, i'd like to see it uh just don't know how they're going to present it is it going to be an extra figure uh, on each wave or is it going to be released as an exclusive here and there and then they surprised us they surprised me. I was blown away. I really did not expect it. And neither did I expect it to be a full complete wave. So, um, yes, well, the first uh, start of it was a little bit of a flop, but it came back and it is now available. So if you haven't pre-ordered it yet, go do so. If you really like this line, then this one is definitely for you. So if you had these toys as a kid, then obviously you can associate with these uh, characters. Uh, this is very similar to what uh, Super 7 is doing with the TMNT line that is based on the vintage figures. And I'm really happy that we've got this. I would have called it a separate line. I would have called it like they did with Moto Classics. Uh, they call it Club Grayskull. Uh, I would have called this Club LJN or whatever. Um, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, like Brian Flynn said a while back, if it's not for you, then just skip it. It's really not about the numbers it's just for their side that that's how they're doing or dealing with it and uh, if if you don't want it if you would like it if it's not for you then there's no need to buy it you can just wait for the next one which is going to be cartoon based and that is going to be blowing everybody away and i cannot wait to get that obviously i'm a big fan of the cartoon line but i'm also a big fan of this line and i cannot wait to get those figures in hand and i hope that they're going to arrive quite soon because most of those are actually uh, bodies that they already have the, the heads are brand new naturally and here and there I've seen some updates especially if you look at Chitara that uh, arm of hers is brand new as well uh, to reflect the vintage toy but I do hope that they come out sooner and I'm so excited to own those because yes I had those as a kid I had them as an adult a while back I had to sell it off but I'm so happy to finally be getting these in this scale and being updates of the vintage toys that I had in the style that I love today so here's the thing, if this line is not for you, that's fine. It doesn't have to be for you. Uh, personally, I never liked Moto Classics. I'm the one of the people that grew up watching the cartoon first and then later the toys. And I was very upset as a kid as to why it doesn't look like that. Now, Thundercats was a little bit different. Uh, I was a little bit too young and I actually caught on with uh, Moto a lot later than with Thundercats. I was the other way around, probably, I don't know if it's I don't even remember uh, if it aired the other way around here in, in South Africa, I doubt it. Uh, but uh, I know the toys were around and I liked the cartoon versions and I wanted those as a kid and well, they just didn't reflect that. So that eventually when Club Craze Ball came out, I was, I'm on this bandwagon, I love this, this is what I like. So with Thundercats, I actually have the association with the toys and with the cartoons, so I love both. Now I'm talking to everybody who likes this line. Now if you do like this line, and you want to see it expand, I'm pleased that this was all grouped together as one so that we don't have to wait that long to get another figure and another figure. I do hope that uh, every three or four lines, um, well, waves that they release, that we get a full-blown Alger inline. And there has been lots of teasers in the past. Now, these have been seen on social media, and these are ones that were originally planned by Mattel back in the day. And this is, of course, Grun the Destroyer, which he has in his silver uh, chest plate armor and his different color scheme. And then there was also one for Pumaira. Now Pumaira is not that different. She has the red instead of the gold, um, especially when you look at her belt. 
but uh, I really don't mind it at all. I would like a vintage version of Pumara. I bet the face is gonna be different. Uh, I, well, if you look at Chitara, she's got the vintage face. Uh, and uh, I do hope that, that Pumara also has that vintage face with those big red eyes. And another character that uh, I would really like to see is of course the Stinger. Now, the Stinger is sort of like, it's, it never appeared in the cartoon, so there is no cartoon version of it. There is a comic book version of it, a UK comic. Now, I don't know which came first, if it was the comic book or if it was the vintage toy. Now, the vintage toy, everybody was like, what is this? This was never in the show. There were a lot of vehicles that were never in the show, but the vintage toy of the Stinger is actually the perfect example of how the LJ inside of the Ultimus line can be very different. And that is why I would really like to see the Stinger appear here. Now, I know the comic book version was green. It didn't look like the toy. Uh, it was a lot of the things in the comics were different. I mean, a lot of the color schemes were totally off. But that is still so cool. So I would I would like to get a green version in the toy uh, side of the line. If uh, oh, Sorry, in the cartoon side of the line, if they do ever release that. But I would first prefer to have a vintage toy version in the LJ inline and that is the way that a lot of people say, hey, I actually like this. So I would really like this, uh, that vintage LJ in toy of the singer. Um, I would like it in my collection. And if I can have it, then if the only way to get it is in the LJ inside of the line, then that's, that's excellent. So I think that would really work and that would be something different. And here's where I talk about the packaging. And that is probably one thing that I know a lot of people, me including, uh, wanted that vintage packaging and I think it really would have worked so well but I understand that if it's too top heavy that it's not going to work and that it might have all your figures topple over and it's not going to work uh, the way that we intended it I think maybe the Ultimates uh, Motu figures that came out uh, a while back by Super 7 uh, probably they were broader I don't know that worked for me that really looked nice I would have liked Thundercats in this but I'm not going to uh, moan too much about it I'm very happy that we are getting it in the packaging and I think a lot of people is going to open it. Uh, I, I would have gotten two. If one was uh, in packaging, I would have kept it in the packaging and I would have really been happy to display one um, as it is uh, as a throwback to the vintage line and then naturally open mine. So coming back to this, if the Stinger is actually in this packaging that we currently have, you can display it with your figures if you are a, a, a MIB collector, then you can keep it there and it won't look out of place of you uh, with your other figures it's going to be there it's going to look the same it's going to look part of the same line and actually it is it is the same line it's just the LJ inside of it and that is why I think that is a good call because if you just want select figures here and there then if you are a MIB collector it will work and it won't look like a different line something else that I think would really work with this uh, LJ inside of the line is of course the never produced figures uh, quick jaws and cannon blaster those are berserkers they were never in the cartoon. I don't even know if they ever appeared in the um, in the comic books. I'm not too sure, but I think that those will work very well as well. If we, I mean, we've, we've got the Nandora. She never had a toy. Um, she's coming out at the end of, uh, of this year, early start of next year. And then uh, to get figures like that, that would really boost this line because then you can add them to your uh, berserkers and they won't feel out of place. Um, they're based on the toys. And I think that uh, since we never had them, they would look out of place. Like I said, it will look cool. And I'd be happy to get those figures. I never had them. Well, nobody, probably the owners of the prototypes. Uh, but uh, that, that would be a cool addition to the line. Another figure that I think is going to be my preference is the Mad Bubbler. Now the Mad Bubbler, the prototype had him yellow. He appeared as a green version in the cartoon. And that would be so cool. I would really love to get the yellow version. Everybody wants the yellow version. Uh, we all wanted him as a kid. Uh, we never got him. We saw him in the display material and in the solicitations, but uh, we never got him. So I do hope that if we get him, that Super 7 makes the LJ N version first. They can always make the green version much later, if even necessary. Uh, I know a lot of people would prefer that, but I lean towards the yellow one, probably because it's the toy that I've always wanted as a kid. And I know there's a lot of customs out there which look fantastic, but this is something that I definitely would want to see in the LJ inside of the line. Something else that's going to be extremely different in this line is of course Wily Cat. Now Wily Cat came out as a little orange boy, uh, even with a PVC version and the full-fledged articulated version, he came out orange. And I would be so curious to see how he is going to look. Uh, especially if you look at Lionel. I know Lionel has got the deep yellow orange uh, 
color to his skin tone and uh, naturally Wiley Cat is way more orange. He's like in orange, orange, orange. So uh, that would be quite cool. Something that I really would have liked to see. And again, this is as with Wiley Kit and Wiley Cat. A lot of people would have been upset if Snarf came out with Lionel. Now Snarf is yet to make his appearance in the Ultimates line, uh, the Toon side of it. And I think a lot of people would have been very upset if we got the LJN version of Snarfers. And they might have even decided, well, I'd rather then buy this and I'm done because I don't need any more Snarfs. And then that might have been a big downer on the line. But I think that those PVC figures, if we had those PVC figures, so if we had a two pack of Snarf and of Marmot, then that might have actually worked as well. Would vehicles work? Um, I'm not too sure. Would you buy it? Well, I would buy it. Uh, there are, like I said, vehicles that never appeared in the cartoon that was released um, by LJN. Uh, but those things, they could work. Uh, would you buy it? I don't know. I would buy it, but is it necessary? Would you prefer something else instead? I bet we all want the nose diver first uh, uh, on the tune side, even though there was a nose diver in LJN. Could Super 7 maybe make it a, a little bit of both? What I really would like to see as a mixture of LJN and Cartoon is naturally Cat's Lair. Now Cat's Lair, like I said, it's gonna be preposterously big. Uh, I've said it several times before, I spoke to Brian Flynn about it, it is going to be a beast of a place. And I, I do hope that Super 7 makes it. I really do hope that we get it. Uh, I need to display my cats on something else than the, the cardboard version back here, which I'll, I love. It's a beautiful diorama and I thought it was the cleverest thing to do, but I really would like to see a proper cat's lair. And the LJN toy uh, plays it. I've never owned it. I would love to own it. I cannot wait to get my hands on one. And if I do, then I will definitely display the LJ inside of the line with that cat's lair if we eventually get um, a proper cat's lair for the toys, uh, the tune version toys. So I think that uh, in between they could actually work quite well to have a proper LJN inspired, now, especially when it comes to the claws, they wouldn't work uh, to fit the, the, um, the Thunder Tank. It's never going to work. We know it's not going to work. You're going to have to get a complete separate room for that to make it properly in scale. So I really wouldn't mind if the claws are just like this size and the tank is just going to stand in front of the building uh, that's not going to be an issue too much for me uh, i would love to see it uh, and uh, i think it could work especially if you consider that uh, if it's going to be hollow in the back like uh, snake mountain is over there then that could actually work i can still do nice interior pieces uh, the control room and maybe a bedroom or the weapons room whatever the inside is going to be uh, spacious enough for a lot of uh, places to put things in. Or they can even have the gel section the way that they had it in the vintage toy. And um, yeah, I, I, I would really just love to see uh, a mixture of the two. I would just definitely want to see the proper cat's lair head uh, as it is in the show. That vintage one uh, on the toy is, is nice. It is nice. There's no denying it. the cartoon toy, that uh, cartoon version in toy form would actually be fantastic. So I do hope that we get that. So don't forget to go and pre-order this Wave 6. It's currently available on super7.com and also other online retailers like Big Bad Toy Store and uh, Entertainment Earth. Get yours in and hopefully by the start of next year we're gonna get these figures and there's gonna be a lot of positive reaction, not just from the people who really wanted it, but from those who actually never thought that it would work, but have seen it and just fell in love with it because it brings back those vintage toy memories uh, of uh, the ages. All right, take care. Super Seven Thundercats, the